what the hell happened? Bourbon. I mean, it's like it's been around forever. Mm -hmm. I've drank it uh, when I was a baby, maybe hot toddies, whatnot. But Probably. I mean, it's like everywhere you turn, and everybody's right. putting out their own product and putting out their own flavor. You know, there's probably good and bad in that. I just want to get your take on that, and what do you think has changed? Well, I think, you know, bourbon, if you look back in the history, in the 70s, bourbon was kind of your your dad's drink, mm -hmm. your granddad's drink. It wasn't that popular. Mm -hmm. You know, it was kind of going on the down, down steel slide. Well, in the 80s, dad developed the small batch bourbons, uh, super premiums. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned Jimmy Russell earlier from Wild Turkey. Right. <laughs> He, he came out with Russell's Reserve, you know, special bourbon. Parker Beam, our cousin at Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. came out with his super premium stuff. And then I think the elder, older elder statesman, uh, Elmer T. Lee up in Blanton's, okay. these guys developed these super premium bourbons, mm -hmm. and they went out on the road, and they hand-sold them mm -hmm. and did tastings, did events, met people. And people got to meet these characters, as you call us, which we are. Yeah. Everybody's That's got their own. Oh, it is. I mean, yeah. and when people saw there really are guys back in Kentucky mm -hmm. that are making this product, and then people started tasting it, they said, wow, this is pretty good. Because mm -hmm. it's a little different. It wasn't about just a throwing your head back with a shot. Right. Sip it, savor it, teaching people how to enjoy bourbon. Mm -hmm. And then also what came along with it was education, the Internet. Mm -hmm. you know, people started writing about bourbon. Mixology came into play. Cocktails became cool again. So all of a sudden, now all these things kind of put together, all of a sudden the tide on bourbon started rising. Mm -hmm. And it's right now it's really rising. And all of us in the industry, I think, are living off of the hard work that my dad, Jimmy, Elmer, yeah. Parker, yeah. and them did back in their, you know, the early days. So I remember taking Dad to the airport, and he he wasn't a big traveler. He didn't like it too much. Sure. But he did it, and they all did it, and that's what I think. Mm -hmm. really made bourbon take off. And now women are enjoying bourbon. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crossing over because we've got different styles of bourbon, lighter ones, heavier ones, different taste profiles, even the infused stuff where we've infused the bourbons with flavors. You know, all that has mm -hmm. brought attention to bourbon, and that's what's making it grow. Mm -hmm.